Summer is right around the corner, and I know a lot of you are going to be traveling to some amazing new places. So I'm going to show you how I pack for my weekend bag. I like to couple my toothbrush with a brush protector to keep it clean. That's right, don't forget to floss. Here's a toothpaste brand that I really love. And no, I was not paid to promote this. It's just really hard to find a toothpaste that is alcohol, sulfite, and fluoride free. Also, don't forget to pack your breath spray. Something else I like to bring along is this exfoliating pad that helps prevent ingrown hairs while softening the legs. Think of it like a buffer for your legs. Oh, and how cute is this stumpy little razor? Very easy to travel with. I use these to thoroughly remove my eye makeup. Just dip it in a little bit of makeup remover and that's enough to remove any stubborn leftover eye makeup. If you can stay awake and brush your teeth before you sleep, you can definitely use these wipes to clean your face at the same time. No more excuses for sleeping in with your makeup. Another product I like to throw into my bag is a sleeping pack. This concept was developed in Korea. Sleeping pack or sleeping mask is a product that adds a hydrating layer on your skin, locking moisture in so that when you wake up, your skin is supple and fresh. This is by far my favorite all-purpose skin cream. You can use it as a body lotion, makeup remover. One time I even used it in my hair in place of pomade. I always have this little guy in my bag. A hydrating mist. If you're flying, oftentimes your skin will feel dry because of the recycled air. Using a hydrating mist will help alleviate this. If you prefer skipping hair washing every other day, bring your dry shampoo. This will keep your hair fresh. So here's my travel friendly brush. <laughs> it's a small palm sized brush that has a cover to protect the bristles. Bring along a hydrating or calming face mask and throw this baby on before you sleep. If you wanna travel with less liquids because of the crazy TSA rules, pack in a stick moisturizer instead. This one has a nice cooling effect and it doesn't leave your face feeling all sticky. You know how much I love my air cushion. Iope makes one of my favorite ones. This one in particular has a high SPF. So I can reapply my sunscreen while touching up my makeup throughout the day. I'll bring a silk pillow slip to help prevent creasing on my face. Plus, it feels extra soft and luxurious. <laughs> my phone always seems to be permanently dying because I'm always on it. This bad boy here will give my phone 10 charges. Seriously, it's a beast. Can't forget our sunnies. Or your transforming brooch. Or I mean headphones. And if you want to capture your favorite memories the old school way, bring your instant camera. All right, time to pack. Watch me fit everything in this medium-sized cat bag. The key to staying organized is to have a place for everything. I like having different bags for everything I'm carrying so that you can just reach in and pull out whatever you need in a hurry. Oh, don't forget your wallet. Mine here is this sunny side egg. If you're spending long hours on the plane, avoid jet lag and tired eyes by using soothing eye masks. After 10 minutes, I'll reuse these guys on my brows, my cheeks, and nasal labial folds. Yay, happy skin! Carry less fluids and use a stick moisturizer on the plane. It's easier and less messy. And then pat your skin to let the product absorb. They say less is more. In this case, add a bit of concealer under the eyes, around the mouth, and forehead. And then apply CC cream to even out the rest. One of the many reasons why I love air cushion is because of the sponge they provide. It's so good. Sometimes I'll actually use the sponge more than the product because it blends everything out so well. Find the golden ratio for your brows by measuring it out like so. Well, I can't really vouch if this is the most accurate way. However, I can say that your brow shape will drastically improve when you measure it out like so. Once you've mapped out your brows, fill them in to redefine the shape. Let's move on to eyeliner. Instead of black, try a different color, even if it's subtle, like a dark navy. This will accentuate your eye color. Create a subtle wing using a creamy eyeliner. It's easier to be more precise if you start with the edge of the wing like this and slowly work up the thickness of the line weight. When you're done with the shape, tightline your upper and inner waterline to punctuate the shape of your eyes and create an illusion of a fuller lash line. To prep your lashes for mascara, give them a good lift with an eyelash curler. Add a coat of volumizing mascara to thicken them up. 
and then apply fake lashes. For myself, I prefer natural looking lashes because the heavier ones tend to weigh my eyes down. However, everyone has different eye shapes. Some eyes will look better with heavier lashes and vice versa. So experiment with different lash types until you find the right one that suits your eyes. Create more depth to your face by lightly contouring. Focus on the hollows of your cheeks, your temples, and your neckline. This will give you a beautiful glow. And of course, don't forget to show your hair some love. Finish it up with a leave-in cream, and then just style it in place. To feather-proof your lip color, use a clear lip liner. Because it's colorless, you can't really mess up here. Outline your lips, and then, using a lip brush, add a bold lip color, lining the edges, and then filling in your lips. If you're good at coloring and staying within the lines, then this will be a piece of cake. For extra glamour, top it off with a pigmented gloss. Hope this inspires the one or less inside of you. Happy travels and of course, good luck!